Hi everyone, this is your girl Alicia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be joined by my little assistant, Kylan Francis. And um, we are going to be making a carrot, carrot cake. cake. Yeah. But of course this carrot cake is going to be done mommy's way, right? We don't really go crazy about um, all the recipes we make. We personalize it and make, make it our own. So today it's going to be the wet dry method that we're using for um, this carrot cake. We're going to put all the dry ingredients in one bowl and all the here and all the wet ingredients in one bowl. All right. So we're starting with three cups of um, all purpose flour. Um, this is one and a half tablespoons of cinnamon and um, I have three three tablespoons of flax seed, and there is uh, two t uh, teaspoons of baking soda. That's the dry ingredient. We have two cups, or probably about two and a half cups of carrots. This is a carrot cake, so it, the carrots should really show up in this cake. Um, we have one cup of granulated sugar. I'm only using one cup. You'll never see one cup of sugar to three cups of flour in any recipe because those people tend to like their cakes um, really sweet. We don't. Plus, I'm using other things like dried fruits that are sweet. I'm using an orange marmalade that's sweet, so that will make up for um, the sugar. So that's why I cut the sugar down to one cup of sugar. Um, so that's one cup of sugar, two and a half cups of carrot. We have three whole eggs. Um, the, our liquid is going to be coconut milk. And the coconut milk is going to, it's, we're going to be using one and a half cup of coconut milk that we're going to be going, that's, that's going to be going into the sugar because we're going to try to dissolve the sugar. Then one cup of just, I'm using evaporated milk. One cup evaporated milk going in the sugar. All the liquid stuff is going to be going in. Okay. One cup of uh, canola oil because this is not a butter uh, recipe, this is an oil recipe one cup of oil going into the sugar okay. so we already add the milk we have the coconut milk we have um, vanilla two teaspoons of vanilla teaspoons of vanilla one two and I'm very generous with my vanilla because I like vanilla um, this is a uh, marmalade orange marmalade it's an old-fashioned orange marmalade that I've gotten at Dutch country I do not have most of the time you see people do carrot cakes um, the carrot cake is made with crushed pineapple. I do not have crushed pineapple in the house. So I'm going to be using a half a cup of uh, orange marmalade. And, that, you know, there's some sweetness there, too. That's why I had to um, cut back on the sugar. Because the marmalade has a certain amount of sweetness. Um, so with our dried fruits we're going in with one cup of cranberry half a cup of raisin and one cup of walnut for the crunch all right so this is our um a liquid mixture liquid all the liquids combined in one mixture i'm going to be adding one egg at a time cracked in egg 
number two because we're using a total of three eggs. Egg number three. Okay. I'm going to get a whisk. going to fold fold we're folding the wet into the dry good it smells good already right you yes smell all that um spices like the cinnamon and the vanilla yes okay we're gonna pour the rest of the liquid in I could use my um my KitchenAid mixer, but not necessary. You could just fold fold it in by hand. I intended to use it because that's why I'm using the mixing bowl, but then I'm like, eh, we can mix this in by hand. Okay, so it's not fully mixed, but we don't want to over mix this. We want to go ahead now and add the two and a half cups of shredded carrots and our dried fruit and nuts So this is easy homemade carrot cake Alicia's style. See? So this is pretty much we're gonna try to over mix this because we don't want it um cracking at the top when it's baked. So um on the side I already have a baking tin that I line with um, parchment paper 
and I did butter also. Okay. A last good mix. And we're gonna pour this mixture in our butter flying pan. Just like this. Quick and easy. Now I already have the oven um, on at 325 degrees and we're going to be baking this cake for about 25 minutes or until a fork or a toothpick comes out clear and then we'll know it's done and uh, it's kind of a heavy cake so if after 25 minutes it doesn't bake it's not fully baked put it back in for another five or ten minutes don't want to dry it out all right we're scraping everything out of this bowl so that's our carrot cake ready to be um, put in the oven 325 degrees for 25 minutes um, we'll be back okay so the carrot cake is out of the oven and um, we're just gonna have it sitting and cooling off. Uh, right now we're about to make the um, cream cheese icing. So this is not gonna be a vanilla flavored cream cheese icing. This cream cheese is going to be a lemon zest cream cheese icing. As I told you, it's not a regular old carrot cake or this is a carrot cake with a gourmet flavor. Um, Alicia style. Frosting when I get back. Hi. Welcome back. So um, we're about to do the lemon, zesty lemon uh, uh, cream cheese frosting for the carrot cake. Um, right here, I zest, um, I have the zest of two whole lemons. You only need the juice of one. See, one lemon gave me all this juice, and this is the zest of two lemon. I just use my little zester, and I peel the zesty part, not the white part, because the white part will be bitter. You just want the lemon zest on um, uh, uh, for your icing. So lemon juice, um, lemon zest, and then here in, um, in the mixer, I have a uh, Philadelphia cream cheese, one whole pack, a brick pack of the Philadelphia cream cheese, which is, eight ounces so eight ounces of cream cheese I have an ounce of butter and one cup of granulated sugar I tend to like to use um, um, powdered sugar but I don't have powdered sugar in the house so I'm just gonna have to do some extra whipping um, so with that off to whipping we go we're gonna whip the cream cheese and sugar until it gets nice and fluffy and smooth. It's gonna take a while because instead of powdered sugar, we're now using just regular granulated sugar. So let's get whipping. So to save us some time, we're just gonna go ahead and let this whip. When we come back, I'll show you how I add the um, lemon zest and the lemon juice and, 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 and um, whip it some more. So uh, we'll be back after this is whipped to a nice fluff, fluffy consistency. Okay, so whipped for about five minutes. Now there's a fluffy consistency. Okay, when you taste it, you don't really taste the sugar grains in it at this point. We're going to be adding our two whole lemon zest and we're going to whip it some more. Two whole lemon zest and because this lemon was so juicy, I'm going to just use half of this lemon juice because you don't want it too sour. And because we use less sugar too so half of that lemon zest and um, uh, all of the lemon zest and half of the lemon juice is what we're using and then we're gonna 
continue whipping. Okay, so we are going to be icing, icing our carrot cake. So we're not big icing people in this house. So we're gonna be doing like a real cream cheese drizzler on this cake. Um, you wanna hold the camera for me so I can? No. We're going to icing. And it's gonna be a drizzler. It's not like a frosting. So, drizzler. And just have it, you know, move its way down. I'm not even gonna put all of this on there. Okay, we're just gonna push the the frosting to the edge so they can drizzle down. push it right to the edge and let it drizzle all on its own and that's basically it I'm just gonna stick this in the refrigerator so the the, um, the frosting kind of uh, harden up a little bit And that's it for a carrot cake. Ten minutes in the freezer and we're ready, ready to dig in.